dogs, they want to sleep. It's a long way down, dogs, but love and sleep. But falling's half the fun. In you, baby. <laughs> Songs about fucking. Hey, what are you doing? Watching Lion King 2, pretending it's the live action film from last year. But this one's animated. I fail to see the difference. Okay, then why are you watching it down here? Ugh, I'm waiting for Damien to get home from his date. That's right. <laughs> He's due back any minute now. I can't wait to see the look on his face. It was yeah, a good had night. a really nice time. Yeah, it was so, really good. Yeah, this um, is where you live, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's an all right place, oh, you know. It's, it's like, so nice. Hi guys, these are your roommates? Yeah, I mean the all right people, you know. Yeah, just, hi. No, 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 it's it's it's, it's cool. Oh, okay. It's cool. I mean, they're, they're not really friendly, you know. Oh. Yeah. Hey, we should hang out again soon. Yeah, I mean, we could we could do that. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we can catch breakfast in the morning. Oh, yeah. I I work mornings, so, you know. It's not really a good thing, and. <laughs> It's not gonna work. I mean, it's food and whatnot. Well, yeah, I wake up really early, so oh. you know, I can set my alarm. Yeah, but I have work and I have to be up late, and I usually I just, I, you know, just. Oh, like that. Yeah. okay, I understand. I know how that is. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, can yeah. Give me a call. You, know, you have my number. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have your Instagram number. Instagram and yeah. Facebook and Snapchat. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So, Damien, mm -hmm. letting your date drop you off, huh? She insisted. Wait, how do you know it's all, all, all day? Um, Damien, um, Damien, what matters is that we hear about the details. Uh, what, we'll say what now? What? Oh, when are you going to see her again? <laughs> oh, never have had anything to do with that. Why? Wasn't she your type? Oh, no, she was cute. We have a lot of things in common, and she left out my jokes, and we all know that I'm funny. <laughs> but there's one itty tinty little bitty thing that makes me not want to see her again. And that is? She's a stalker! Damien, you just met the girl. How can you know that for sure? Oh, one. Before we decided where we wanted to go to eat, she took me to my favorite restaurant. Two, she ordered my favorite dish before I, I could order it myself. And three, she knew where I lived before I gave her the address. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, there's always the next one, right, Damien? <laughs> no. You know what? I, I think I'm done with this. You know, because every single chick I go out on a date with ends up badly for me. For instance, the last chick I went on a date with just got out of jail. <laughs> What's the matter, Damien? Don't you believe in second chances? For murdering her last boyfriend. Oh. Yeah! And the one before that was way too much into pegging. Like, I cannot tell you the details, the images. She even showed me pictures. No, no. Hey, hey, uh. let's not knock things till we try them, all right? I'm done, okay? No more dating. I'm done. I just, I just can't. I'm uh, done. Hey, hey, Damien. No, I can't keep giving up like that. Look, Damien, you can't judge people based on a few quirks. You've got to let yourself be vulnerable or else you'll never find the right person. And besides, if you're not gonna try new things, then you wouldn't know what it'd be to be a better person. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about pegging, aren't you? Damien, you gotta try it at least just once, you know? Yeah, no, no, I'm good. You think I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm done. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break. You know what? I'm gonna take a break. Yeah, I'm taking a break. A break. No more, no pegging, nothing. Break. <laughs> ah. That was great. Oh man, the way you, you pretended that pegging was cool. Oh my god, that was perfect. <laughs> yeah, pretending. Ah. So, what are we 
setting up this time? Well, I actually came across this girl who is totally his type. Super cute, super adorable. <laughs> What's the cat? She's a hardcore furry. And I mean like super hardcore. I think Damon's about to be invited to a little yiffing party. <laughs> See, dogs like us, well, we ain't such dogs as we think we are. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, and welcome to the newest episode of The Oscar Goes To. I'm Jan Michael. And I'm Melinda. And today's Oscar Goes To... Marty. <laughs> Let's begin. Recognize that fellow? His name is Marty. Never heard of him, hmm? Well, you will. Because we made a picture about him. No, I'm not in it. It's all his. So, Melinda, I think this is really the first Best Picture winner that I think a lot of people aren't really going to know too much about. And I don't think you've ever heard of this one before. Not particularly, no. So, going into a more obscure film, what did you think of Marty? Yeah, it's, it's a strange movie, I'd say. Um, it's a classical movie, uh, same formula. Guy is down on his love life, um, finds a girl he likes, and friends don't really care for her. For her. Uh, they think that she's like below his level, but she's really not. And in the end, I guess they imply that he gets her, but it ends so abruptly that you feel like what happened to the rest of the movie. You know? It's just like you said, the film really feels unfinished. It, it just ends. And a big part of that is because the budget of the film wasn't very large. Uh, this is almost like the equivalent of indie films nowadays. And especially back then, there was no real uh, proof that these films could succeed. Marty really being the first one that, that blew up as much as it did. Uh, but I think because of that, yeah, it, it just it just cuts off. Uh, like, there should have been more, but you just get the end credits. Uh, and the very sad thing is that the actress, the last time you really see her, is like on a shot of her, like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes beforehand, where she's like just sad. She's crying because she thinks, oh no, this guy's not going to call me back. And yeah, that that's it. Yes, they're talking to each other towards the end, but you don't really get that, oh, th she's happy now, which is, it's very awkward. Yeah, not only do they kind of leave that like up in the air, but they also leave, I don't know if you'd call it like a side story, but his relationship with his mom, it kind of goes on the rocks where she's trying to push this girl away when originally in the movie, she's like, when are you going to get married? Very... I want to say like stereotype for the time in Italian, but yeah, there's no resolve for that. She kind of feels bad for doing it towards the end, but they don't have a conversation. There's no anything to resolve it. That's kind of weird. On the positive side though, because I, I don't want to just <laughs> talk bad about the film. There, there are some good things about it. Um, I think Ernest Bornine is, is great as this, as this protagonist. I, I think he fits what they're trying to convey with the character very well, and he, and he portrays it very well. And I was reading that originally Arnest was really only known for doing like um, like the heavy role. He was the bad guy, the one who got beat up a lot. And this was really like his first shot at, at being like leading man and, and seeing what he can do. And it, and it ended up paying off for him. And I, I think it was a good choice. He, he definitely is believable in this role. Definitely well acted. And um, especially the emotional points where he just, he's been through so much heartache and he just, you know, he, he snaps it and says, you know, I, I can't do this anymore. There's only so much heartache I can take. And you, you feel for him. Oh, Marty, put on the blue suit, huh? Blue suit, gray suit. Uh, I'm just a fat little man, a fat, ugly man. You're not ugly. I'm ugly, I'm ugly, I'm ugly. Marty, Ma, leave me alone. Yeah, I will agree that the actors did feel like they were of the times. They were living these lives. So I'll agree that the acting in overall was pretty good you know you felt like you were there and these were real people and they had their own personalities so that part was pretty good uh, the only other thing i would say is the type of character marty turned out to be is probably not one that would be acceptable today um, if you haven't seen it he kind of goes into like these moments where he's frustrated at life but not in ways that seem safe by today's standards Yes, exactly. I, I think the one scene that we're thinking about is where he takes the girl back to his house and he is trying to force himself on her with a kiss and she doesn't want to. And he, he basically snaps and just says, 
It's just a kiss, I wasn't gonna do anything more, but that's itself a very dangerous way of thinking. No, Marty, oh, I please. I like you, I like you. I've been telling you all night I like you. Marty. All I want is a little kiss. No. Please, no. please. No, Marty. All right, all right, I'll take you home. And I understand, you know, this is the first girl that's, that's given him the time of day. Uh, so I understand him being afraid uh, of losing it, but I think it's really tiptoeing and even crosses the line of, of a bit too much, uh, especially because there's a lot of people nowadays that that may share the same sentiment, where it's like, oh, it's just a kiss. She, she's so she's stuck up. She's a bitch and all that stuff. And again, dangerous way of thinking, and I, I think that could ultimately be harmful um, if looked through um, in those by those lens. Um, so that to me. I wish they had really filmed that differently, but I think that's a big negative of the film. Just that scene alone uh, left a bad taste in my mouth. I think that's all I really have to say about the movie. Are you sure? It sounds like you've left it a little unfinished. So, Melinda, did you think Marty should have won Best Picture? And would you recommend it to today's audiences? Well, Jan... I don't know who the contenders were for Best Picture of that year, um, but I think it's good for people to see it because Ernest Borgnine got his breakout role as a good leading man, like you said, and the actors were good in it. I think there are better movies, um, but I don't know that it should have won, per se. I'm very sad that I have to say this, but I don't quite recommend it. And it's such a shame because, again, you know, the first indie film to really prove that indie films could be successful, uh, Ernest, great performance, uh, and his real uh, proof that he can be leading man material, but I just don't think it's a very strong film. I, I don't think it holds up very well. And that one scene, the one that left that bad taste in my mouth, it's just, when I think about the film, it's the first thing I think of, and it's such a shame. So. Uh, unfortunately, I, I can't recommend it, and I don't think it should have won Best Picture. Um, but yeah, to take that for what it's worth, if you do decide to see it, it's incredibly short, so it's not punishingly long. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like always, leave those wrong comments in the area below. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, have a good one. Guys, does that I got a match. Oh my god. He's so cute. Oh, let's see. Look at that, look at that, oh my god. Oh, nice. Yeah, right? <laughs> my looks up the chain, and her looks up the point is, I'm going to the party. We're going to have fun. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Damien. So I hear you're going to a party. Were you here the whole time? Oh, no, no, no. I went and got coffee real fast. Is that my jacket? Oh, yeah, I brought it. I hope you don't mind. How'd you get into my car? So about the party, Damien. <laughs> What about now? It's time to rock with the biggity buck. Bumble. What about now? It's time to rock with the biggity buck.